Ladies and gentlemen, you have your SNES Classic Edition, you're tired of all 21 games, or you're bored of them, or you're missing your favorite game. And I know how you feel, man. I want Killer Instant on this thing, but too bad they don't have it. Or I want to play some Doom that they don't have it. And Mortal Kombat. They don't have not one Mortal Kombat in here, man. Not even Mortal Kombat 3, which is the most popular one, I could say. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add more games to your SNES Classic Edition. Um, and, then yeah, I'm happy that this hack is available. I'm sorry, Nintendo. This is like giving Nintendo the middle finger. But... I need my games, man. I need my games. So, this. So, keep in mind. Now, if you want to do this method, try this at your own risk. Don't blame me for your, for your mess ups. And another thing too, you will need a Windows computer. I am running. Um, now, quick little disclaimer: you will need a computer running Windows. This is not compatible with Mac OS, so I do apologize. This is my MacBook, but it's running Parallels. Um, you can try like a free trial for Parallels um, and see you can get Windows. Now, another thing too, you will need to download this. I throw a link in the description. It's called Hatchy. All right, so Hatchy 2. So um, they updated the tool. So now it's working for the SNES. So now what I like to do is I like to run this as an administrator. Administrator is like the boss. So um, I'm going to say yes. And now the first thing that's going to come up. You're going to have to select your console. So obviously we're working with the SNES Mini. Okay, so we're going to click on that. Okay, and then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to just plug it into your computer. So the SNES is hooked up to my Mac. This thing is not working. Alright guys, 10 minutes later I finally figured out um, why my computer wasn't recognized the uh, SNES. This cable, this specific micro USB cable is only for charging, not for data syncing or data cable. So, ah, I didn't even see that there and I ended up just using a different micro USB. Uh, I'm going to turn it off first. That's the first thing I'm going to do because um, we want to dump the kernels. So, we definitely want to dump it. Now, dumping the kernels is going to, it's basically like backing up your SNES in case anything goes wrong. You can um, restore it back to its original state. Basically, unjailbreak it, I guess you could say, or unhack it. Um, it did say reconnect your SNES. All right, so I'm going to exactly do just that. So I just plug it out and plug it back in. So I'm going to hold the reset and turn on the SNES. So the light shouldn't turn on, and then voila, it just automatically processed. Alrighty folks, so my kernels was dumped, so do not, do not lose that kernel file because let me see if I can locate it real quick. So if I go into the Hatchy 2, you can go into dump. This right here, this is their backup. So what I recommend you do, you take a thumb drive, save it on there, or maybe if you want, put it in your cloud storage. Just, just don't lose it. I'm going to do that a little later, so I'm going to minimize that so I don't forget. And last but not least, we're going to actually flash custom kernels. This is just to kind of get it started. Alright guys, so now you're almost done. You can now upload your SNES games now. So the magic, watch the magic. Now first thing, if you want to back up all your ROMs, you can just Google it, YouTube it, do what you got to do. Um, so I'm just going to use all the ROMs that I restored. So these are all my ROMs. So I have Batman Return, Diddy Kong, Country 2, 3, Doom, Kill It Instant, Mortal Kombat, um, NBA Jams. Yeah, we're going to add all of that. So I just shift click and I just click open. Now, I don't think extracting the ROMs is necessary. You can really just select them all like that. Now, all my games are right there. Magic. I know you got to do. Make sure your games have a nice little thumbnail. So what I'm going to do with Batman... You just search for it, find which one you like. I kind of like this one better. Alrighty folks, so all my games right now, they have a nice little box art. So you want to have that, it just makes it look nice. And all you got to do, you just simply, there's one button, you add all your games. So you're going to synchronize. And it's going to just wait for the device, it's going to build it, it's going to upload your games, process them, and you should be good to go. 
And okay, you're done. You're done. All those games are added now. Now, I, I should have told you guys this in the beginning, but if you had your SNES hooked up to your TV, you can actually see all of the process going on, but I don't have it hooked up because my HDMI is too tight, it can't reach. Um, so it is what it is. So we're pretty much done. You also have your controller hack. So don't you find it tiring how you have to get up and slide up the reset button? You can actually have um, controller combination, but the wires are so short to the point where you may as well just get up and just quickly uh, slide up that reset button. But yeah, it's up to you. All right, so let's see all our games. All right, so more games. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and remove this folder. I don't really like it. So there you have it, folks, all your games. So Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country 3. We have Doom. Killer Instant, Mortal Kombat. All right, so let's actually try it out. Killer Instant. Let's let's see how Mortal Kombat performs. Hey, okay, there you have it, folks. Mortal Kombat is working. Ah, Goro. I hate fighting Goro. I'm holding back to block. Wait, I forgot the block button. Whoa. This is all you have to do in Mortal Kombat, man. Punch them. This was the 2K back. Oh! I sh Yo, if I made that. Yo, they're killing me. They're killing me, man. They're killing me. Oh, no. Oh, look at the meter ball. Bullshit, man. Look at that. This is exactly how I like it. No folders, nothing. Just straight through.